Hey folks, have you ever had an LCD television that you wanted to mount on the wall, but you don't have a power port anywhere nearby? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm John P., and you're watching GeekBeat TV. So the trick here is without needing to completely rewire your wall or call an electrician, we want to make a hole through the wall and bring the cable down to a plug beneath it. But in order to do so, you're going to need a kit. So I picked up two different kits off of Amazon. They're both relatively inexpensive. The first one, this is the one we're going to use in this instance. It's made by Datacom, and you're going to notice that all it is is two plastic channels. One of them goes like this, the other one goes like that. We'll drop the cables in one end and pull them out the other end. No wiring, no nothing. We basically cut two holes, mount these things, and that's it. This kit goes for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, the other kit is actually made by PowerBridge. It's called a Total Solution, and this not only provides um, an in-wall receptacle, that you can route cabling through, but it also extends a power plug up through the wall using in-wall wiring. Now this kit's gonna run you a little more. This one costs about 60 bucks, but you'll notice it actually has uh, cabling specifically for in the wall, and it's got, you know, it's a more complex system. We are not gonna do this one today. We'll save that one for another one, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna mount the datacom kit in the wall. It's really just a two-step process. First, we need to make a hole that will accommodate this piece. This is going to go in the wall and then we're going to bend these little tabs inward and screw it in. Once that is mounted in the wall, this piece can be screwed right in through there. So we've got two of these, one at the top, one at the bottom. First step make sure that you don't have any studs in the wall behind where you're about to uh, cut into. And I've already uh, checked with a stud finder. Our stud is over here, so this is pretty safe. Um, you'll also see that what I did was I took this mounting plate and I marked the inside of the rectangular area here that we need to cut out. Now what that means is I need to go slightly larger than that so that these, the little edge here will sit flush when it's in the wall. Now, what you would really normally do is buy yourself like a six or seven dollar sheet wall saw, but I left mine at home and we're up here at Livid Lobster headquarters. So we're gonna use my trusty little Leatherman with a serrated edge. This is a terrible way to do it. Don't do this. But we're gonna make a hole in that wall nonetheless because I'm impatient. All right, that was a lot more work than it should have been, but that's what happens when you don't have the right tool. But we improvise, no problem. By the way, in case you're wondering, that's a little Leatherman knife, and uh, did a pretty good job making that hole. So, now we've got the hole, what we wanna do is test fit it to see if our uh, piece is going to mount in there flush, and it does, like a glove, that is perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of bend these little strips inward, upward and downward. Notice they, they hold it right there. And now you can see how, how the uh, channel piece is gonna fit. What we'll do with this one is we'll probably put this one in uh, pointing downward like this. This will screw in this way. So this one, we can drop the cables right down in through there and then the other one will have pointing up so that they come up. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process at the bottom and then uh, come back to you when they're both done. Okay, so we got the bottom uh, plate mounted and notice that before I actually put the uh, face plate on it, 
I went ahead and pulled the cable through because it's going to be a lot easier to reach in here with your hand and pull the wire out than it would be to try and stick your fingers up through here and, 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 and you know, scoop it out. So just keep that tip in mind and uh, put your face plate on. And that's pretty much it. As you can, as you can tell, I'll, I'll screw that on in a minute. As you can tell now, we just pulled the wire over here. Unfortunately, we got a really short cable, so we use a little power strip, which we should do anyway for protection. And uh, at the other end, uh, we'll plug that into the back of the TV, which we're going to mount on here. And voila, you have now uh, hidden your wire through the wall for about 15 bucks. So hope you like it. Uh, Give us a thumbs up on uh, YouTube if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel right over there, or there, wherever it is. Subscribe to geekbeat.tv. See you later. Show me the Chrome CR48 notebook that showed up at the store. There aren't a ton of these things out there. The CR48 is a one-app notebook. It only runs Chrome. No files.